Hi, hello guys. Uh, this is Vignesh here. In this video, we are going to learn about uh, how to wake up our ESP32 from deep sleep mode by an external event. We actually see is in two steps. The first step is we will check our base program and also we will give one API for external event wake up. So that's it guys. Now let's get started. Now just uh, take a look at this image. Uh, here you can see only the ELP core processor and then the RTC peripherals will be away during the deep sleep mode. And uh, these uh, peripherals such as ESP32 core, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, radio and even some of the GPU peripherals will be in inactive state during the deep sleep mode. And the power consumption is we have already discussed and it is about just 10 micro ampere. Now just to take a look at this image guys and uh, here you can see some of the GPU pins are associated with the RTC peripheral. Just for an example, here you can see GPU IO33, right? So just take a look over here, the RTC GPU IO8. If they are mentioned like this uh, RTC with the GPU numbers means these kind of pins have the capability to wake up our ESP32 from deep sleep mode. And uh, some confusion may arise whether we need to use the board numberings or RTC GPU numberings. We have to use only the board numberings in the programming. So that is the important thing you have to understand. Now just to take a look at this image, uh, here you can see I am just going to use one push button with the ESP32. I have take one wire and uh, connect the 33rd pin of ESP32 with uh, one end of the push button and another end of the push button I am just going to give it to ground. So that's it. It is very simple isn't it? Why? Because uh, in 33rd pin, I am just going to use the input pull up feature of ESP32. Okay, and then one LED I have connected with the 32nd pin of ESP32 through a resistor. Okay, always use a resistor whenever you are using LED, or else you can use any other pins, there is no problem at all. Now we will jump into the programming. Now just to take a look at the simple coding, here you can see I just have made a 32nd pin as an output and then 33rd pin of ESP32 as an input pull-up. Why? Because I have already told you right, I am just going to use the internal pull-up resistor of the 33rd pin. So only I have given this way and uh, here you can see the for loop is there. It will run for five times and afterwards it will come over here here it will be get executed and here you can see the ESP deep sleep start this is the API which will put our ESP32 in deep sleep mode I'm just going to compile and execute this program after done compiling just go and upload this program Yes, uh, it has been uploaded successfully and uh, here you can see at the video it has been blinking for 5 times and again it will goes into the deep sleep mode. So now what I am going to do is uh, I am just going to give one API ESP sleep enable this time ext0 wake up so in this api we have to pass two arguments the first one is the pin number and then the second one is in which status you have to wake up your esp32 from deep sleep mode either at high or low 
Now what we are going to do is I am just going to pass the GPIO number. I am using 33rd pin of uh, ESP32. Now the status is actually low. Okay, for that purpose I am just going to provide 0. Why? Because I am using input pull up. Just go into the imagination. Okay, whenever we are using an input pull up resistor, it will be held high that particular pin. Now I am just going to use this push button, right? Whenever I am just pressing this button, what will happen is it will detect zero, right? So that is the actual meaning. For that purpose, I am just using the zero. Now what I am going to do is I am just going to compile and upload the program. First we will compile, then we will upload the program. Now just take a look at the video, here you can see it will blink for 5 times and afterwards it will go into the deep sleep mode. Yes. Now what I am going to do is, I am just going to make an external event wake up call. How I am going to do is, I am just going to press this push button and that is done. Again our ESP32 get wake up from the deep sleep mode. It will execute the, these piece of uh, programming and then it will go into the deep sleep mode. So that's it guys. That's all about uh, this video and also the code for the video. I have leave the link in the description that we can able to access that code. For more amazing videos kindly like and subscribe. Thank you guys.